Every artist has their own pre-concert ritual. Lina Shamamian prefers the company of friends and fans. There's time, there's always time for a few selfies. She's excited to perform in Berlin, which in some ways reminds her of the home she left behind in Damascus. Arabs from many countries are here, not just Syrians, Lebanese or Palestinians. Here I can meet people I otherwise would have found difficult to get to know elsewhere. Lena offers a local radio station a soulful teaser ahead of the night's gig. She's keen to reach a non-Arab audience with her music. Her style fuses Armenian and Arabic music with elements of jazz. Her songs often deal in love, pain and exile, but she shies away from politics. Her art and her concerts try to conjure a different image of her war-scarred homeland. People mostly talk about Syrians as refugees, war survivors, people who had to make a fresh start. But in my concerts, you experience us as we really are, as if we were in our homeland, as if the war had not torn us apart, as if the problems had never been there. Even so, as she takes the stage, it is hard to fight the harsh reality. Her set includes songs about alienation and fear. For the refugees in the room, it must have felt like their story. From nostalgia to patriotism, Tears turn into joy. It is this mix of emotions that pulls Syrians back to Lena Shamamian. We cried at the beginning, but later celebrated and danced. We felt the deepest yearning for home, but also happiness. In some songs, I felt the sadness and pain of the Syrian people. Afterwards, they mobbed their star. For these fans, Lena is the embodiment of the Syria they remember.